My name is Iron Crow, and I'll be your guide as we venture into the world of Mass Effect 3 in stereoscopic 3D. Now put on your 3D glasses and immediately take them off if you value your eyesight. As much as I'd love to be a wise guy and say Mass Effect S3D, I can't do it. The developer and publisher of the Mass Effect series, Bioware and Electronic Arts respectively, do not yet believe in the promise of S3D gaming. Despite running on the same game engine as nearly flawless S3D games such as the Batman Arkham series, Mass Effect 3 doesn't deliver the third dimensional goods. S3D performance using Nvidia's 3D vision drivers is poor to the point of unplayability. Hell, it's even worse than that. It's poor to the point of unwatchability. I took care to only show footage that was pain level 3 or below. That's about as bad as getting a gnat stuck underneath your eyelid. Not great by any means, but typically non-life threatening. This game at its worst gets up to level 8 or so. Roughly the same pain as slicing your corner with the side of a Hallmark card. The rendering flaws are just too numerous to mention, and really there's not even any need. Someone has already identified nearly all of them, and you're not going to believe this, but he actually fixed them. Yes, by the hard work of a man we know only as Helix, Mass Effect 3 is Mass Effect S3D on NVIDIA's 3D Vision platform for stereoscopic 3D gaming. Sorry, I get excited about S3D. I'll be a bit bold here and say that I know for a fact that Bioware doesn't care about 3D gaming. My proof, you demand? Well, take a look at this huge rack of flat panel displays. Hmm, looks like Bioware thinks we'll still be using monoscopic displays in the late 22nd century. I have more. Consider Exhibit B, the camera used by embedded journalist Diana Allers. This super futuristic floating camera with state-of-the-art Omnitool interface and 12K resolution is still a 2D camera. <laughs> well, here's what I think of your vision of the future, Bioware. No more 2D displays! Kill them! Kill them! Kill it! Kill them all! You all took the opportunity to predict many things for humanity's future in the Mass Effect universe. Unity for humanity under the singular banner of the Systems Alliance. Holography will advance display technology into truly three dimensions. Men will continue to be the primary cannon fodder in military conflicts, and the list goes on and on. Maybe you will be proved to be correct, or maybe you won't. You all don't know, and I don't know. But the one thing I'm sure of is that stereoscopic display technology will replace the monoscopic displays of today that are only capable of sending one image to two eyes. These displays might be good enough for a cyclops, but not for the sapient species of the galaxy with binocular or greater vision. This will come to pass long before Shepard is born, before even Liara to Sony is born. The growing stereoscopic gaming community hopes to return to the galaxy of Mass Effect whenever that may be with full stereoscopic 3D support. When you all sit down to imagine what mankind's future ought to look like while designing the next game in this series, please remember that the future of displaying visual entertainment in S3D is here right now. When you make your game ready for 3D vision and other stereo driver solutions, you ensure that your game is ready for the future. The official S3D Gamer's own review for Mass Effect 3 uses Helix's Helix mod fixes to render the game properly in S3D with 3D vision drivers. In that video, you can find my scores for both the game and the stereoscopic experience. Please make sure to check it out at s3dgamerzone.com.